Okay, so I apologize for not making a video before. Last week was a holiday, and I'm still trying to wrap up the, um, the video tours uh, series. So this will be seven, and I'm covering the outside of the house. And it is really past golden hour. Golden hour basically be in the latter end of the day, or the very beginning of the day when the sun's coming up. Um, which actually brings out a good point that um, I like to shoot at certain times of the day and the day I, the, the time I try to stay away from the most is when the sun is directly over top and I'll explain that in a little bit of why because the, obviously the main source of light is going to be the sun. So um, anyway, if you can come over here, I'm going to show you what kind of obstacle we're going to be shooting this house if you can get a shot of that. Um, we have three, no, four big, huge magnolia trees. Um, and so obviously this is an obstacle that I can't shoot, uh, shoot through. So I have to reposition myself. Anybody taking pictures would love to have the great, beautiful shot where everything's cleared out in front of the yard. But, you know, real estate agents, you guys are gonna constantly run into obstacles and things that you have to overcome and just kind of work around and make do. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, it's a little roundabout driveway area. It's got a lot going on. Um, obviously the grass was cut and it wasn't clean, but you know, again, we're gonna work what we can work with. Um, I understand the agents, you know, you guys are, obviously if you just got the list and you've introduced yourself, you're trying not to be too much of a bother or, or a, you know, hindrance. So my approach is just go with what you got and make the best of it, unless it's just something that you just cannot do without. In other words, if we had a fridge out there in the middle of the porch, we're gonna obviously ask them to move it. But uh, I think we got plenty to work with here. Uh, obviously one light is out on the front, but again, you know, one thing I kinda have to confess, I'm trying to hurry up and do this at the very end of the day. Um, I literally have maybe 15 minutes before the sun's all the way down. So um, 16 millimeter, on a Canon um, 5D Mark III, you can do the same, same concept with a point and shoot. You just have to position yourself correctly. So a reason why I want to do a, um, a shot where the sun um, is at an angle is because I'm trying to help the fact that there is a huge over um, porch awning on the, the front of the porch. So if the light's coming straight down, you can kind of see that there's shadow there right now. If the light's coming straight down, it'd be even more more um, hard to, to dial that out in post. So um, I like it when it's either cloudy, all agents kind of, you guys kind of want to have that beautiful blue sky. Technically, I like to have a cloudy, cloudy sky with a little bit of blue cutting through it because it creates what they call a soft box. You know, it's, it's the same concept. It's taking that big harsh light from the sun and diffusing it and giving you just a, a, a nice, good, uh, coverage, even coverage, which is the reason why I like uh, golden hour at the beginning of the day and end of the day, because again, it gives you that, that, that coverage a little, it knocks the sun down just a little bit. So it's not so harsh on the sensor of the, of the camera. So go for our hero shot, which is basically straight on. Going to go completely wide because we're doing a, uh, kind of like a landscape shot and you'll see what that is. Um, I'm gonna confess, I shoot everything, everything outside in auto um, because I think the camera that's, you know, that I bought for $3,500 does a pretty darn good job because when these pictures are done, we're not printing them on a 36 inch poster. We're gonna have them all the way down to MLS and it's gonna be a 600 by 500 DPI, uh, 72 DPI resolution. So why am I going stressing out about something that, you know, is gonna be compressed down? At the end of the day, as long as it sells a house, it sells a house. I'm not trying to win something on National Geographic. So I'm gonna go for a side shot. Again, I know in post, if I take a side shot, I can have a lot to work with in there and I'm gonna cover what apps we're gonna use and also what uh, app you can use outside to find out where the sun is at. That app is called uh, Sun Seeker and I'll, I'll make a, another clip on that very soon. Now, just like, my, just like my wife did on that one house that I showed a clip earlier, she did a, where, where it was in the corner of the house and the lines kind of went out everywhere. I, I like that, that approach. I like that um, idea. And so um, everyone stresses out about the lines. Keep the lines, keep the lines straight, keep the lines straight. Well, um, I don't. I'm a video 
videographer uh, to begin with, so I enjoy the creative lines. And I think it kind of sets, sets us apart a little bit. So I'll give the real estate agent that option. And just because you take the picture doesn't mean you have to put on MLS. We're getting ready to get, uh, also get into the time where there's a dusk uh, opportunity, obviously because we're at the very end of the day. And so if I wanted to really kind of highlight that and create a nice little pretty uh, picture, I might have the camera focus on this, kind of blur that out a little bit. It just kind of gives a mood, kind of gives a, a setting. I really probably should have had those bulbs changed out, but I'm just trying to work on what time that I have. So another, another opportunity when taking pictures is um, taking advantage of the surrounding area, uh, you know, what, what aspects or what elements make this, you know, your location of your listing uh, beneficial. Obviously this house is right off the golf course. Um, I wouldn't do it right now. There's some people out there. You don't want to take pictures of people and cause, pose a problem. So, um, but uh, you know, going out there in the middle of the field and taking that shot and maybe getting a glimpse of this house with it, it's gonna be kind of hard because there's trees covering it, but the fact that that can be used as a piece to say, hey, this house is located next to the golf course, perfect, you know, put that out there and that can give you a, an opportunity to write a blog post about a house that's right, right, by, the, right by the golf course and how great it's priced or the fact that it just hit the listing listing uh, MLS um, and the same way you treated the, the front is the same way you treat the, the, the sides it really is just kind of getting your even coverage I go straight on side side pretty much on all all the shots that I do with the house okay so again uh, just to recap um, watch your shadows try to get the Sun at an angle uh, if you use the uh, Sun seeker try to find out what time the Sun is at the best angle um, you always want to if you can, obviously you can't move a house. If the sun is uh, coming towards the front of the house, that's great. Wait till five, six in the afternoon. Um, only problem with that is, you know, homeowners, they're probably getting home around that time. So you're gonna have to juggle it and find out what's best if that's, your, if that's a major concern. But then again, you guys, your agents, you gotta be quick, you gotta move fast and you gotta get the house listed on the MLS by Friday before the weekend hits, so I understand that you gotta adapt to it. Not, very, not many photographers understand the importance of that, um, but you as agents listen to these properties, you do. And so um, try to make the best of it. Try to get around the obstacles. Try to time your, you, you know, your time right. Try to avoid the 12 o'clock um, and get creative with it. Make your own style. So anyway, this is clip seven of 10 on the photography uh, series I've been doing hopefully gonna wrap it up very soon I've been saying that for the past three years I'm gonna be wrapping up soon but um, I am and I'm working on it one by one been a little bit busy but if you if you like what you see please uh, like subscribe and connect and I love to hear from you thanks